tweeting at 10 p.m. on Monday night, Washington time, the president declared he would temporarily suspend immigration into the United States. But the order will only apply to people seeking permanent residency, and will last just 60 days. Most visas granted in the United States are for seasonal farm workers, who will not be affected by the order. Donald Trump reportedly caught his staff off guard by announcing an unfinished executive order, AP, by pausing emigration, will help put unemployed Americans first in line for jobs as America reopens, Mr. Trump said. It would be wrong and unjust for Americans laid off by the virus to be replaced with new immigrant labor flown in from abroad. We must first take care of the American workers. The wording of the executive order has not been released, and reports from White House insiders state that the president's tweet took them by surprise. Related articles details might come out tonight or tomorrow, Mr. Trump said. The plan has been panned by Democrats in Congress. Kamala Harris said Donald Trump's executive order was a distraction from his failures, AAP, to our immigrant community know that we see you and we won't stop fighting against Trump's anti-immigrant agenda. Senator Harris, a former presidential candidate, represents the California, which has the highest number of foreign-born residents of any U.S. state. Senator Bernie Sanders agreed. Donald Trump is once again vilifying immigrants to cover for his own incompetence, he tweeted. The American people are tired of his xenophobia and racism. Bernie Sanders said Americans are tired of Donald Trump's racism. AP About half a million people gain green cards, or permanent residency, to the United States each year. Most of those green cards are issued to the spouses and families of U.S. citizens. Two of the president's three wives were born in Eastern Europe and obtained permanent citizenship through the program Mr. Trump is now seeking to suspend. Donald Trump and his current wife Melania in the year 2000, Getty that system has been slammed by the president in the past. Chain migration must end now. Some people come in, and they bring their whole family with them, who can be truly evil. Not acceptable. Mr. Trump tweeted in 2017. Melania Trump's parents Victor and Amalija Naves. Up let's block ads. Why?